Tesla's long-awaited pickup is finally about to hit the streets, and once again, it attracts all the attention of the automotive world. Of course, that's for a reason, considering that this is indeed a capable pickup, but can it really keep pace with traditional internal combustion-powered pickups such as the Ram 1500, which is coming significantly updated for the next year? We present you seven reasons why we think that the new 2025 Ram 1500 is miles ahead of the Cybertruck. Number 7. Towing Capacity Despite all the luxury and convenience you can find in modern pickups, these vehicles are still meant for hard work, including towing. That's the aspect where all electric pickups have been lagging behind internal combustion counterparts so far, but the Cybertruck seems to get pretty close to the big three. The claimed max towing capacity is 11,000 pounds, which is just 560 pounds lower compared to Ram's light-duty pickup. But don't forget that Ram's pickup lags behind key competition in this aspect and that even though it's yet to be disclosed, the numbers will most likely go higher with the new model. The story doesn't end there, because as you probably know, Ram and other conventional pickup truck makers also offer their heavy-duty counterparts, which can tow nearly 40,000 pounds when properly equipped. But if we stick strictly to the light-duty Ram 1500, there's one more thing to keep in mind, and that's the fact that the Cybertruck's claimed max towing capacity comes only with dual and tri-motor variants, which costs at least $81,000. The cheaper single-motor version, which will arrive sometime in the next year, will feature a max towing capacity of just 7,500 pounds. Number 6. Limited Autonomy from what we know so far, the Cybertruck will feature a decent claimed max range, which will most likely go between 320 and 340 miles. Moreover, the company will also offer a version with a range extender, and that version will be able to make up to 470 miles on a single charge, though it's worth saying that this range extender will compromise cargo bed capacity. On paper, these are good ratings, but in reality, our short experience with all electric pickups clearly show that range can drop significantly under heavy exploitation. Tesla hasn't come up with estimations in this aspect, but we can take another electric pickup as an example, the F-150 Lightning. Namely, a recent test showed that Ford's electric pickup loses nearly a third of its range when loaded with 1,400 pounds of sandbags. So we may expect a pretty similar outcome from Tesla's pickups because manufacturers still haven't figured out how to preserve range under heavy exploitation. On the other hand, gas-powered pickups don't suffer all that much when towing and hauling, so we expect the new 2025 Ram 1500 to act in the same way. Way. Equipped with a good old 5.7-liter Hemi V8, the outgoing model already dominates in this aspect, with a max autonomy of nearly 650 miles, and if we consider that the 2025 model is coming with a more efficient twin-turbo inline-six, we may expect even higher numbers. But things aren't just about the range, it's also about the convenience or charging time if you want. Even though equipped with a pretty advanced charger, the Cybertruck will need 15 minutes to add up to 136 miles, while on the other hand, refueling of the gas-powered Ram 1500 takes no more than a few minutes. Then comes the infrastructural challenges, considering that the charging network is still far from perfect, especially in rural areas where pickups are actually the most common. Also, not all chargers are designed in a way that you could approach them with a trailer, which makes long-distance towing even more problematic. Number 5. Price all electric pickups promise low driving costs and environment-friendly rides. However, not many people can afford the initial investment that is required for a new Tesla Cybertruck. Until the single-motor version arrives, the cheapest model will be the dual-motor version with an MSRP of around $81,000, while the so-called tri-motor Cyberbeast will most likely cost over $100,000. For that money, you could easily buy the Hellcat-powered TRX, which will soon be discontinued. And we all know which one is the truck of choice for the vast majority of enthusiasts. On the other hand, the base 2025 Ram 1500 will come with a two times lesser price. Of course, that model will feature significantly less power, as it'll come with the old 3.6-liter V6, but models with a new turbocharged inline-6 will be significantly cheaper as well, including the more powerful 540-horsepower version. Moreover, the newly added range-topping version called the Tungsten will still be more than $10,000 cheaper than the dual-motor Cybertruck. Number 4. Reliability we're pretty sure you found this reason surprising, considering that we've been taught differently all these years. In theory, electric cars are more reliable and cheaper to maintain. There are fewer parts to break, while there are no typical service intervals like in the case of gas-powered cars, such as oil changes, etc. However, reality is different. Just take a look at the recent study from the Consumer Reports, which showed that electric cars cause 80% more problems than gas-powered cars. And if we add to that that Tesla has always been among the worst-ranked brands in terms of overall dependability, there's no valid reason to expect any better performance from the Cybertruck. 
The Ram 1500, on the other hand, has been scoring average results in the last several years, which is above average compared to electric pickups. So we don't have a reason to believe that the new model will be any different, especially if we consider that most of the parts will carry over from the outgoing version. Number 3. Off-Road Performance Musk has been describing the Cybertruck as the best off-road pickup in the world for a while, but after we saw the recent video of its performance off the road, we're not convinced. Without any doubt, the Cybertruck will be a capable off-roader, especially if we consider the independent suspension and adjustable air springs, which will be able to take this pickup up to 17 inches from the ground. But off-roading is much more than that, starting from all those advanced traction control systems designed with filigree precision. That's where Tesla is still lagging behind the renowned off-road manufacturers, including Ram. The new 2025 Ram 1500, on the other hand, will continue with a couple of dedicated off-road versions on offer, and the advanced traction control system isn't the only thing that is expected to ensure an advantage over Tesla. This pickup will feature something that no electric pickup has, a good portion of mechanical off-road hardware, such as locking differentials and low-range gearing. We could talk all day long about the actual advantages of these old-school systems. The fact is that off-road enthusiasts trust them way more than they trust all those modern off-road aids based on electronics. The only thing we will miss from the outgoing Ram 1500 is that supercharged V8 Hellcat engine from the TRX but we have no doubt that Ram engineers will figure out some greener alternative in the next year or two. Number 2. Body on Frame Platform We may be old school guys who are reluctant to accept the fact that the world has changed over the last few decades and that there are some technological advancements that completely change the paradigm of the pickup truck industry, but we're just a little bit more reserved towards Tesla's strong marketing than others. And when we talk about Cybertruck marketing, one of the things that attracts a lot of attention is the claims about pickup rigidity. Even though it essentially features a crossover-like unibody platform, Tesla claims that the Cybertruck is as rigid as traditional body-on-frame pickups, if not even better. But the Tesla's cold-rolled stainless steel and the so-called exoskeleton construction still have to prove in real-life exploitation. Meanwhile, the classic body-on-frame design remains the ultimate solution for tough pickup trucks, with significantly higher towing and hauling potential. Of course, the new Ram 1500 strictly sticks to these long-ago established principles and promises years of worry-free exploitation. At the same time, the Ram 1500 features one of the most advanced suspension setups in the class, with multi-link in the back and self-leveling suspension, which ensure class-leading ride quality. Number 1. The Ram Charger If you're still leaning toward electric pickups after all these things we've talked about, keep in mind that Ram 1500 has something better than Tesla to offer to you. Namely, the new model will also be offered in a version called the Ram Charger. That will be a plug-in hybrid version, though it won't be a classic plug-in hybrid. Instead, the gasoline engine will serve as a power generator, while the wheels will be moved by a couple of electric motors. In practice, this means identical driving experience as in the same of an all-electric pickup, but with several additional advantages. First of all, there's the matter of max range, because the Ram Charger will be able to make nearly 700 miles with a fully charged battery and a full tank. That's way, way more compared to the Cybertruck. Also, there's the matter of the max towing capacity, which will go up to 14,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds more than the Cybertruck. With 663 horsepower, the Ram Charger is more powerful than the dual-motor Cybertruck, and despite all of these advantages, it is also expected to be significantly cheaper. According to the latest estimations, base models will cost around $60,000. Thanks for watching and see you next time.